quest here for today for a top five uh, video game characters fit. There's four games in a thumbnail. I do not have the one game with one character or anymore. I was going to do ten, but I was like, uh, you know, I, just, I, was, I was fumbling around with the other ones. So I'm going to do the honorable mention of some of these other ones real quickly and then get to the five. So like a quasi top ten. Uh, Bayonetta from the Bayonetta series of Cereza, right? Is her actual name. She's a badass, you know, she's freaking obviously ripping it up with the fighting. She's flirtatious, she's a bit of a wise ass. There's that kink bondage aspect of the Bayonetta games. The sexual undertones, probably overtones in this game, it doesn't hide it. <laughs> but she's a cool character, you know, she's like I said, she's a badass, she's doing such crazy shit, she's a wise ass. She's flirting with everything and everyone at any point in the game, <laughs> you know. The voice acting's well done. I'm pretty... I think the same woman voiced her in this one, right? I know there was like an issue she had or something, but that might have been after the game came out. But I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember back. But Bayonet is awesome. Um, Carol Rivia, Another great character. He's, uh... You know, I, I, I was... Uh, that's another reason I was waffling around on it, because Carol is from books originally, and I was gonna... I was thinking in this list, I was like, well, I can say Indiana Jones, but... That's a movie character first, you know. You can argue Geralt is more of a video game character because that's what made it well known that he was. A lot more people found out about the books, myself included, after the game. Games, or at least the first or second game. Like, oh shit, there's books, and the books are great. But he's a great character. It's like Shades of Grey. He's another badass. Um, people kind of hate him. A lot of people hate him because he's a witcher. Um, but he's always kind of does the right thing. What he thinks is the right thing, and sometimes the results are still depressing. You know? uh, but he's devoted to his, you know, the people, his friends, and Siri and Jennifer and stuff. Uh, Yaskia, Yaskia. Um, and even the people in the books, too. I want to talk about just the people in the books as well, like his group. Um, <laughs> he'll be funny, too, in like a dry way, kind of a sarcastic way almost. Um, uh, Kate Walker. Siberia series is, is another good character and she kind of grows over the course of the games goes through a lot she's a lawyer originally from New York and she goes to a, I forget what the team's the, the vault in her I forget the name of the actual town is and she's supposed to do a thing with the dudes a state who came up with the automatons or whatever and then she gets embroiled and stuff and stuff happens and all of a sudden over the course of the game she's been in jail at one point at the beginning of uh, this game she's in jail that happens at the end of three she gets arrested kind of grabbed she does a lot of things she's got a good relationship with the automaton oscar with his heart she puts it in different things and this one he's in like a little orbit pillow type thing um and stuff and like i said she grows over the course of the series and then she's smart she's a bit of a wise ass too but you can make her that way by choosing certain choices but she's another one who's always going to help out the people she's with and stuff like that. Oh, she's another. This is Kate Walker, too, by the way. This is the Donna character from this game, but she's not in any other ones. Um, Kate Walker's great. Tommy Frasetti from Vice City is awesome. Another one character uh, voiced by Ray Liotta. He was phenomenal. Uh, <laughs> he was a wise ass, but he's a, he was also like, he wasn't like your, your lunatic kind of GTA character. In some cases, some of them are. Um, you know, he was friendly with his friends and stuff, and he would help them. Like, the lawyer, his lawyer that's played by uh, William Finchner. Um, a few other people in the game as well, I believe. Um, but the voice, the character, just really owed to bring that voice, that character to life, really made it what it was. He's my favorite GTA character. Um, Master Chief is another great character. Another badass who's more quiet, but when he speaks, it means something. Um... And he's this mysterious, this level of mystery around it too. Not in the show, because he pops his helmet off every five seconds. He doesn't even wear it most of the time. Which, whatever. I don't know, I whatever, get into that. But, you know, and this is a level of mystery as well around him. And he's a badass, because he is. He's a super soldier, Spartan. So, uh, he's a badass. You know, another great character. A lot of great characters. I mean, I can sit here and say, like, Marina. I really, because I was, like, looking at the thing at the list. I was like, well, Marina's kind of a side character. He used in Valkyria Chronicles, a sniper you can recruit, who always had the best lines when she was dying, when she was killing someone. Um, I always brought her into my party in any level or mission that I could. 
if there's plenty of them, you know, I can, the list can go on and on. I can say Chris Redfield to an extent, but not as much as one of the ones here on this list. I might do a villain's one at some point, too, with, like, a Wesker and Pyramid Head and shit like that. But, uh, number five here is uh, Ichiban here, Kasuga. Um, and he's only in this game, and I, I've only played a bit of this game, but obviously I played all of, like, a dragon. And he, you know, he ends up in jail, so when he gets out of jail, he's around my... He is my age, I think, at the character itself, which is part of the reason he's in there. Because it's like, when you get older and you're playing as a character who's your age, or maybe a little older, a little younger, you're like, oh, it's like you feel some weird connection, right? When I was young, you'd be playing, and you'd be like, oh my god, this character's 30, and you'd be like, they are so old. And you're like, wait, 30's not old. <laughs> you know, 35's not old, 40 is not old. You know, people just like to say they're old. They want to say they're old, but they want to rag on people who are old for what they did, but they want to, like, act as though they were around for that shit, and it's fucking weird. Anyway, I don't know why I'm babbling about that. Ichiban's great, though. He gets out of jail. He's naive now. He's very loyal, especially his friends with, uh, Saito, uh, Namba, and I always forget the old dude's name. I don't know why. <laughs> but the four of them are very tight and close in this one as well. Like, shit goes bad for Ichiban and them, and they, he's all like, oh my god, you guys are gonna, I'm so sorry, and they, hey man, we're in this together, you know, and, and it's great, they're very tight, and over the course of the first game, they become very tight, it's not like that at first, he's loyal, will do anything for his friends, he's a badass as well when he has to, like, he's not going out of his way to attack people and be a badass, and he's friendly with Kiryu as well, but the, the main ones, I mean, that probably, that relationship probably gets better over the course of this game, I haven't played it, but, oh, I'm in Hawaii now, but I've not played a ton of it, so I don't know how it goes. But he's just a great character. He's young. He, you know, he's not he's young. He's, he's naive still, and he has that childlike stuff about him, you know. And like I said, he's badass when he has to be, and he's loyal to his friends and stuff. He's a fantastic character, in my opinion. Um, let's see. This is awesome. And I read it again. I'm like, okay, I like this character. You know, and he's a wise ass too. He'll give people shit, kind of cracking jokes when he's in trouble too. You know that type. Um, I mean, he's a badass in a way. You're using all types of. You couldn't combine weapons in the first one, but you use all types of freaking throwing TVs, shovels, rakes. You know, whatever the hell you can find, swords, axes in that one shop. That's like when you're like, oh great, this is magical weapons here. Like I said, he's gonna do what it takes, and he's a photographer, so you take it behind yeah, him. Yeah. He's a great character, Frank West, and he's funny, you know. I just love him. Stuff with him. <clears throat> I'm gonna say, you know, my first one is my first one. Number three is the game I don't have. And it's uh, James Sunderland from Silent Hill 2. I have to put him in there, it's my favorite game. Pyramid Head would be in the villains one, if I ever do that. Um. James Sunderland's great too because he's he's a he's not like a Resident Evil character who's gonna pop up here at number one. No, spoilers. <laughs> but that's what's so cool about you know the Silent Hill games, right? Is that he was not a badass. You know, he's not um Excuse me.
attention. Alright, the response is wrong. He's not a badass. No, and, and, and the thing of so much of it too is the story of what he did and, and how he comes to, you know, peace with everything that happened and stuff, fighting off his own demons, his own manifestation of everything that's happening in Silent Hill, right? That's what a lot of people say, right? In Silent Hill 2, it's the town isn't even really doing anything. You just come there and then it's like it just uses, you know, I don't know what the word would be, but it's just like, yeah, you're the one that all your shit's coming to life here, you know? The town doesn't necessarily do anything. It's your own mind that's gonna fuck you because, like, Laura, the kid's there and she's not seeing any freaking creatures or anything. So Silent Hill's gonna kind of treat you as you almost feel you want to be treated in a way. <laughs> um, but he's a great character, you know? He's, it's tragic in a lot of ways, but he overcomes stuff. And even though the voice acting's not great in Silent Hill 2, it's not awful and it kind of almost fits the game. And all the other characters are great as well. Angela, Eddie, Laura, um, Maria. <laughs> um, but it's just, you know, he's vulnerable. He's he's not a badass. Like, he's like, oh my god, what am I seeing? Oh goodness, you know, and it's clunky combat. And, you know, he's not freaking gonna just start kicking the shit out of everything. <laughs> I think that makes it for me personally, like, is the fact that, and that goes for all of the Silent Hills, you know, you're playing as Heather, a teenager, in the third one, um, Henry Townsend in the fourth one, you know, so that's just the clerk or whatever he was, I forget, and, um, is it Harry Mason, the first one, it was just the dad going there, you know, they're not badasses, that's what made Silent Hill what it was, same thing with the Fatal Frames as well, um, and that's kind of cool, you know, to have the character, it'd be weak in a way, but not, you know, you don't feel badass in those games either. You know, even though you could be killing the enemy, sure, but you don't feel, you know, like, here we go, and we start kicking ass. Like, sometimes in Resident Evil, like, okay, I got the big gun now, and we start kicking the shit out of everything. You know, in this one, you're just, like, almost trying to survive, right? And, and that's cool. And he's a good character with it. Like I said, it's, it's just the story arc in the game is good, and depending on the ending you get, it really works. Um, even a few of the endings actually work. I'm not talking about the alien ending or the dog ending, <laughs> which are funny, but, you know... He's a great character. Um, I hope the remake's good. I really do. Um, number two. Arthur Morgan here from uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, I almost put him in number one because if you play this game the way I played it, you could be an asshole in this game and you get that the kind of worse ending when he dies. I got the good one because I played his character good. <laughs> like I was always doing the right thing or what I thought would be the right thing with him as a character. And it kind of made more sense and makes him a better character because he kind of grows over the game. He's not necessarily ever really an asshole, but he's criminal, right? And he will do what needs to be done, but especially after he gets sick, he really starts to come to grips with like, oh my god, he's helping people. He's vulnerable as well. Like, he's he's talking to the nun, I believe it is. He's like, he's like, he's like I'm scared, you know? Like, he's nervous about what's going to happen because he's sick and got tuberculosis. And he tries to do what's right for everybody, even the people in the gang as well, and the people he helps. The voice acting for him is, is some of the best you'll, you'll hear in a video game. It's incredible. Um, he's just so, you know, like, you don't, and here's another one where you don't feel like a badass. Even though he kind of is, you never really feel like one. You almost feel, like, reluctant, reluctant to take people out, you know? And he, he's a well-done character over the course of the game. He might be Rockstar's most well-done character, honestly. Um, you know, and just how it goes for him and everything, and, and he, you're almost going through it with him as it goes, you know, when his horse died. I remember when the horse died in the game, because I had that horse the whole game, and he goes up to it, he's like, I'm sorry, or whatever. I'm like, I'm just starting to, like, cry. I'm like, oh my god. But it's a freaking horse, who cares? It's a video game horse, and I'm like, no, you know, I'm like with it, with the character, like, I'm one with the character now, you know. I'm in deep with the character. But Arthur Morgan's fantastic. He's, he's, in my opinion, he's one of the best, especially in recent years, like the last 10, 15 years, like bar none. You can call him the best if you wanted to, and I wouldn't argue. Of course, my number one is, it's my personal number one. I've been with this character for, you know, three games, four games. Let me just try to remember here, but it is uh, Leon S. Kennedy. I, I was going to grab Resident Evil 2, but I'm like, let's grab four, because two has him on the cover with Claire, and Claire's another great character, actually, as well. Now, there's a lot of cool characters in Resident Evil, Jill, Chris, Claire, um, you know, even, um, oh, I can't remember, Rebecca, 
There's a lot of good characters. There's a lot of the thing about Leon is Leon's like the goody kind of tea. I always compare him to like Kevin Sorbo in the Hercules series. He's always gonna do what's right. He's always like, you know, I'm the good guy, always making the good decision, you know, never dare stepping foot to the bad side, you know. And uh you know, and you see him grow too. In the second game, he's a rookie cop. He's ready he's he's taking care of business, but he's not fully there yet. By four, yes. He's like now working for the actually no he's he works in no, well, he's ordered to save not ordered but you know asked to save the president's daughter so he's up there he's an elite group he's like oh the president's like you're gonna go save her you know and then in six it's the same kind of thing was he in anything else am i missing a game with him two three and six right but he's a great character you know and uh I just always loved Leon, and he's a little goofy too, you know, but he's a badass, <laughs> especially back in this game, and he, gets, and he has his dumb shit quips that are funny, they're almost like the movie type quips he has, cheesy kind of lines, but there's something like lovable <laughs> Leon, you know, almost adorable in a way, if you use that word, and then his relationship with Ada has, has always been a good one, he always just like, come on you two, just start doing it, <laughs> you know? You know you both want each other, cut the shit. But Leon's kind of naive too with that stuff, but he won't. Um, and he's like I said, he's always gonna do it right. It's like Mr. Goody too, just like, like not, in, not in a bad way. But he's always gonna do what's right. He's like that pure of kind of heart almost. I just like the character, you know, I always have. He's my favorite Resident Evil character. I think he's a lot of people's favorite Resident Evil character, to be honest. It's just, you know, he, I'm not gonna, no, I'm talking about the movie that he was not, well, he was in some of the other ones too with Milo Jovovich, but that one where they had the, they did like combined Resident Evil and Resident Evil 2, which I didn't make that movie, but Leon's character was so, like, the guy who played him, I was like, yeah, okay, this is Leon, but they made him a doofus. Leon was never a doofus, you know? He might be a little naive at first and kind of like happy go lucky almost in a way, but he was never like, I don't know, he's a shotgun, like, and that's a shame, too, because the guy did a pretty good job as the character of Leon. But they just made him, like, he, I'm pretty sure he had a shotgun. He's like, what do I do? Like, I don't know why they had to make him clown in that one. But, like, say he's badass. And he, <laughs> I think it's the end of the game. Whoops, I got loud there. I think it's the end of the game where he's, uh, he's, a, he's on the jet ski with this one. With uh, Ashley. And Ashley's almost like, yeah, we got to do some extracurricular activities or something and he's like he pretty much is like no like and everybody's like well you know he said that because she's the president's daughter no he said it because he's in love with Ada he ain't gonna shit about Ashley okay he's like no <laughs> maybe one game is there a game like because even in six they're very close like he protects her a few points and she's helping him at other points they're always saving each other in the games she's another good character video game character but <laughs> He's just, I don't know, he's goofy, but he's badass. He's naive, he's a bunch of different things. <laughs> Leon's great, though. Leon S. Kennedy. I like I'm Leon S. Kennedy. <laughs> um, but it has that cheesy action movie stuff, too, with his cheesy lines that he's thrown at the enemies. Or if something happens to him, he says something cheesy. But yeah, that's a request here today. I did top five, and I threw in some other characters. Uh, video game characters as well because the top five was more kind of solidified for me and then 10 I was kind of like well I could pull a lot of different people in that's why I'd kind of throw some honorable mentions in there you know even like a Nathan Drake I, I could throw in there as well he's a solid character or uh, Joel and Ellie from The Last of Us are both excellent characters in the second one as well um, I think Abby in The Last of Us 2 is an excellent character also um, there's plenty and you can go back even to Simon Belmonts and uh, you know, characters from back, back, back in the day, you know, um, that are excellent. Um, even like a Sonic and a Mario, but that's like a different time. That's like, you almost have those in a different list. <laughs> um, 
but yeah that is just a uh, top five request here top five video game characters with my my top five with other people thrown in as well but uh, yeah uh, thanks for checking this out and have a good day